Good afternoon guys Today I just wanted to Make a little upgrade A little video of an upgrade I'm gonna make here in my theater room Man cave And that is upgrading The little Roku Box I had for about 3 years already It's a little clunky now And if you didn't catch it This is what we got in the mail it is the new Xfinity Flex streaming box that I just ordered, absolutely free. I call it an upgrade because it is 4K capable. So something that I had here with my Roku, it's not 4K capable and my TV can actually stream that. So I consider that of an upgrade. Some people call it clunky. I just wanted to make sure or kind of find out myself before anything and since it's free I said what the heck so um, let's get to it and uh, we're gonna unbox this and see what's inside all right guys sorry for the bad lighting here but um, this is the best I can do right now while I get set it up with my uh, set up with my camera here uh, but yeah, I'm gonna unbox this um, Xfinity Flex. I could call one and call it X1. That's a package, but this is the Flex. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, get started here. So I'm gonna get my trusty scissors here and start cutting away on the box. Let's see here. Maybe I let me just tear through it. Let's go ahead and do that. Better. All right, first things first, um, we got an apology letter, letter from Comcast stating how, you know, their box is boxed all crappy, which is okay, as long as it has the material in there, about returning your equipment, and here's a return slip, and here is the package itself. Kind of like a little cheeky way to do it. Let's go ahead and put the box aside. And let's get to it right here and remove the plastic. So with every order, of course you get the box itself. You get a Looks like about a six foot HDMI free cable. And it looks like it's HDMI 2.0 or something like that. So it could stream 4K. Make sure you get the high speed ones. I think they make them now high speed, but just in case you're an old school guy like me and have any old school cables laying around. Power cable, of course. And I believe this is the remote. Let's check it out. Yep, so the remote itself, actually very nice material here, this is more of a, like this matte finish on it, of course it has the pull tab for the batteries, it's a smart remote, you could talk to it on a microphone, kind of like the Amazon Alexa Fire Stick, and a getting started manual here. You get one in Spanish and English. Let's put that to the side here. And you get a private policy. Looks like it's an Xfinity video. If you want to watch the instructions in the video. And let's put this to the side. Garbage. So let's take a look at the box first. Um, so let's take a look at the box first here. So it looks like... Just your typical streaming box, pretty oversized compared to what I have um, connected to my house right now. I have two fire sticks and of course the Roku that I just showed you. So let's see here. Put this right here. 
So let's remove all the plastics here, guys. Better connectivity. Satisfying sounds. So I did mention this is free, but you're actually just you are just borrowing the box as long as you own or have service with Xfinity. Do you guys remember the time when uh, cable boxes were these big size, like 10 times bigger than this box here? Um, looks like this is the way of the future here, especially uh, looks like Xfinity is getting connected with cord cutters, just like me, who don't really watch cable anymore because of the, uh, of the limited things that you could watch now, especially with YouTube. So they're getting within the game and providing this box here and it's free. It's 4K, so it's pretty special. So let's go ahead and connect it, guys. First off, how we're gonna connect this is, first we're gonna, of course, turn off the television. And now, we're going to disconnect the Roku box. This is a really old little Roku box, but not going to get rid of it just yet. I'm going to actually put this in my garage TV. It's very clunky, very laggy, but it does the job. Eh. Does the job like I need to. Can't complain. Now we're going to go ahead and remove the wires and install the new wires. Reroute them around the TV and the entertainment center. Now I'm going to install the wire here, it's pretty long. I would use the old one, but I'm not sure if it's uh, blue or HDMI 2.0, but I'm going to just route this to my little uh, HDMI selector here. I'm not sure if the HDMI selector is able to push 4K, um, you know, quite swiftly, but, or smoothly, but, I mean, it does have 3D capabilities and might have the speed for it, so. Let's go ahead and try it out. Put the HDMI where it belongs. Move the power wire. FYI, this uses a USB-C connection, so just be careful. So as you could see, there's a light there uh, on the box indicating that it is on. So let's go ahead and turn on the TV. So. So next, after you verify your telephone number, um, you could now set it to where it's going to be at. Um, let's see, what things do they have here? I'll consider this a media room. So let's do media room. Or den. I think media room will be good. Let's push OK. So the remote's nice and lighted up. Well, it looks like it's lighted up here. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, there you go. So, let's push OK. So optimizing for surround sound. It's 
so I do have a home theater system there, but I have it off right now. So it went back to the LG TV home screen here. So here's the splash screen and you could activate voice control as well using your voice for channels, apps and all that good stuff. Your remote is paired with for voice control, so that's good. Push OK to set up volume. Do you want to use your remote control for your TV power? Yes. Is this TV made by LG? Yep. Repair it. After this, you'll be able to control your LG. Push OK. Pairing successful. Let's see here. So we're going to adjust the volume and see if that works here. Yep, so it looks like it works. Easy pairing, yes it works. Do you have an audio receiver? Yes. So it looks like we're gonna have to choose the brand here. Maybe it has one of the top. I have a Sony, so there we go. Okay. So let's see, let me turn on my Surround sound system. There we go. So it works now. It works. There we go. Connecting to Wi Fi. So everything's now installed. We have, looks like we have the audio system on there. The channels look like they're ready. I'm already a subscriber to Netflix, YouTube. Can't wait to try out Peacock, that's something new, um, and see where it's at. So I'm going to give it a whirl, and I'll come back in about a week and kind of give you a give you an overview of what I think about this. So as you can see, it is 754 here in Central California at 98 degrees. It is very, very hot, um, and it looks like it's going to get hotter by Saturday. It is on a Wednesday afternoon right now, so... Um, I'm going to go ahead and install the old Roku onto the garage TV so I can have entertainment in there as well when I'm working on my cars. So continuing with my video here, excuse the mess guys, this is my Philips 30 inch, 30 inch HD TV from back in 2006. This belonged to my dad back in the day and I inherited it, if you want to call it like that. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna use my Roku out here and hopefully it works. So let's go ahead and get it installed. All right guys, so it looks like I got it installed. Here in my garage, looks like it was gonna be a quick, simple pop in and get it play, plug and play, but this thing, of course, life happens and it took me a little bit longer than that, but good thing through the power of camera, you guys don't have to suffer with me. So let's turn on the TV here. I like classic things, guys, I like to collect. Well, they're not really classic, but for me, they're kind of old school. This is an old remote that I got back in 06. TV was also um, bought back in 06 by, like I said, my parents, my dad. Um, so he gave it to me since, of course, he, they upgraded with the modern flat screen TVs. But hey, I get to have this. This is cool because it works with um, my old school video games like the Dreamcast when I have the light guns or, and stuff like that. So it's really cool to have stuff like that um, or this TV here especially since they're super rare, especially the widescreen HD TV one like this one. So let's play Pluto TV on here, just like I was playing over there. Right off the bat, I noticed with Pluto is that the one on the Xfinity works way different than the Pluto on the Roku. The Roku will not play while you're searching for channels. It will not play the channel. Maybe it needs an upgrade, I don't know. Let's kind of lower this down here. 
know it's like crappy but it's just buffering right now um and looks like on the xfinity it works great well there we go it's working great uh, everything is working great at the uh, theater bonus room and i finally got my roku at on my garage i'm gonna need some screen adjustments here to make it just fit just right as you can see some of the pluto p here is missing but it just needs to be adjusted we'll do that um as we go along here but yeah that is my first impressions on the X xfinity flex so far so good thank you guys for watching this is taurus 3800 logging out